Have you ever considered why some people always envisage the worst possible outcome? This is more than just a question, it's a gateway into the realm of pessimism, a psychological trait that shapes our perception of life and everything it encompasses. Pessimism is often misunderstood as a simple negative mindset, but it's much more. It's an intricate psychological process that influences our perspective. Indeed, pessimism is more than just a glass half-empty view, it's a lens that profoundly colors our life experiences. Now, let's delve into the psychological aspects of pessimism. Pessimism is more than just a glass half-empty outlook. It's a complex interplay of experiences, personality traits and even genetics. Let's start with experiences. Childhood traumas, repeated disappointments or negative life events can shape a pessimistic worldview. It's a protection mechanism preparing us for potential future disappointments, a sort of emotional armor, if you will. Then there are personality traits. Some individuals are naturally more prone to pessimism, their brains wired to focus more on potential threats and negative outcomes. It's not necessarily a choice, but a part of who they are, ingrained in their very being. And what about genetics? Well, research suggests that our inclination towards optimism or pessimism may be partly inherited. Yes, your DNA may play a role in whether you see the world through rose-tinted glasses or a grey filter. But it's not all doom and gloom. While pessimism can serve as a shield against disappointments, it can also become a double-edged sword. There's a well-documented link between pessimism and mental health issues like depression and anxiety. A pessimistic outlook can spiral into a self-fulfilling prophecy where negative expectations lead to negative outcomes, further reinforcing the pessimistic worldview. As we can see, pessimism can be both a shield and a sword, protecting us from disappointments, but also potentially leading to mental health challenges. Imagine living in a world where every silver lining has a cloud. This is the reality for those who view life through a pessimistic lens. They dwell in a realm where hope and optimism are often overshadowed by the constant anticipation of negative outcomes. In the pessimist's world, triumphs are fleeting and easily forgotten, while failures take center stage, casting long, ominous shadows. This focus on the negative can sometimes lead to a cycle of self-sabotage, where one's own actions inadvertently lead to their downfall. It's as if they are stuck in a self-fulfilling prophecy, where they expect the worst and then act in ways that bring about their own anticipated misfortunes. But it's not just about external circumstances. The real struggle lies within in the pessimist's internal dialogue. This constant self-criticism and doubt can be a tumultuous storm, often tougher to weather than any external adversity. In the pessimist's world, the struggle is not just with external circumstances, but also with their internal dialogue. So, what have we learned about pessimism today? First, we've explored the very definition of pessimism, a mindset that anticipates undesirable outcomes. It's not just about seeing the glass as half empty, it's a worldview that expects the worst in every situation. Next, we delved into the psychological underpinnings of pessimism. We discovered it's not just a simple negativity, but a complex psychological battle. Pessimists often carry a heavy burden of stress and anxiety, constantly bracing for the worst-case scenarios. Then we took a journey into the world of a pessimist, a place where every silver lining has a cloud. The world may seem dark and daunting, but it's important to remember that pessimists are not just negative, they're facing a unique psychological struggle. By understanding pessimism, we can better empathize with those who see life through a darker lens and perhaps help them find a spark of optimism in the shadows.